enjoy. What what makes you wake up two, three, four, five in the morning? It's been three and in the morning. Go out when it's zero pitch degrees black and pitch black, pitch black, walking in the dark. Um, I'm gonna have to say it's it's a passion. It's it's something I love to do, and when I'm out there, I this sounds really corny, but I feel like I'm one with the nature. Like I'm out in its environment. I'm getting to uh, like hear the crickets chirp, the the waves as you can hear right now, and just going up on shore. I don't know. It's not all. It's not always about killing the animal. I guess getting your game or whatever. I would say it's to get out there and kind of enjoy God's creation. So that's why I like doing it. Why do you hunt? Why do I hunt? I hunt because it's something that I enjoy. Um, it just brings me closer to God's creation. Um, I just I just feel one with with nature and just like whenever I'm like stressed or whatever, I go out. I don't even have to hunt. I just gotta go out in like the field or just walk around trails, just because it calms me down. It's just something that brings me to a, a neutral stance, I guess. Just gets me away from everything. That's why I hunt. What's something you would say to people who don't agree with hunting? Or I mean, they could disagree all they want. They just. They, they only disagree because they've never done it. Once you're out there and you actually experience it, you I would say they would change their mindset on it. Just because it's you can say something and not experience, like, oh, it's wrong. But once you're out there and actually seeing what it's like, it would change your mindset. My best memory was probably deer hunting when I was about maybe seven-ish, seven or eight with my dad. I didn't hunt, my dad hunted and I was uh, in the ground blind with him and uh, I just sit there, enjoy it and I usually, I usually I would doze off, take a little nap and then my dad would wake me up if the deer comes walking by or something. But uh, he never got one, unfortunately. But it was always a uh, good old time just to be out there. And all of a sudden, that Tom looks over, sees this fan, and is like, "Man, this guy, this this Tom's in my territory. Like, I gotta go scare this off." So this Tom starts um, strutting its way, just running right to me, 200 yards away. I was like, "All right, this is this is this is time. This is the time to get my first turkey." So it's still just hauling towards towards me. And uh, it finally gets like 20 yards away. And I set the fan down, and the turkey just pops up because it has no like. He's just wondering like, where the heck did this Tom go? It just vanished. So I pulled up my gun and I shot it within like 15 yards. Is the craziest thing from bringing it 200 yards away to 15 within a minute time. So that's probably the coolest moment. A good shot. No. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all I need to say is no. That was a good question. Alright, let's hear it. How good of a shot are you? Oh boy, you ready for this one? Okay, that's a good one. With a shotgun, I'm decent. I can shoot I can shoot something in there. 
Um, I've actually started up bow hunting the past couple years and uh, got zero so far. But hey, it's all practice. Got to practice, and I haven't practiced much. But last year, I shot at two or, or three deer, and I missed completely. So I need to practice more, and that's what it's going to take this year to get me a nice looking deer. So, what, what's the most ridiculous memory you've had? most ridiculous memory I've had was during that um, one hunting trip three hours away to uh, Cheyenne Bottoms where the lake was frozen over. Um, I got out there and started stomping on the ice to break through it and all of a sudden there's water seeping through my waders because the ice slid through the waders causing a hole and I don't think I've ever been that mad before so Austin and I went to uh, Great Bend to the Walmart to find maybe a patch went to the hunting section to find a patch for waders well that ended horribly because we didn't find a patch so we saw that there was waterproof duct tape and then Gorilla Glue so we combined those two together to try to fix this slit in the in the waders and we got out there and I tried walking out there in the water and what do you know water starts pouring in that's like a that's like a two hundred dollar pair of waders that just got ruined and I've never been so mad in my life on a hunting trip that was just that was probably the worst memory and the ridiculous thing that's ever happened Did it fall? Uh, personally, I like going with others just because it creates um, more memories. Like, there's a lot of laughs um, involved with others. And then, uh, I don't know. I, I, pres I, I prefer going with others just because there's somebody there to hang out with or joke around with and just enjoy those memories that were created. God, I can't sh shoot with crap. <laughs> That's what, that was, that was what, five I missed? No, there's a, there's a group of four and then there's a group of like two. And then that one at the end. Yeah, six shot like what? I mean, five times. Got a whopping zero again. <laughs> Story of your life for Kendall right there. I uh, missed another one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, what's going on over here? I decided to go, I decided to go uh, Scottish. My ancestry. <laughs> this is how they hunt. This is how I'm gonna hunt. Uh, all right. Oh, all right. <laughs> I need a tan too. Some work my territory out here. <laughs> oh my there we go. God. Did you guys, you. anyone mind telling me? And we came to a river that we can't cross. And we heard the gobble. I don't know if you heard that, but it gobbled right over there past the river. Okay, hey, hey Kendall. Yeah. How many, how many, how many, how many, right there, but how many birds have you gotten? I've gotten big old whopping zero. <laughs> how come? Well, this fog is really 
really hard conditions to hunt in. Oh, so it's the fog's fault that also, you can't shoot straight. <laughs> it's a user error. There's one right there, boy. Keep it rolling, boy. Right there. That's a dove right there. So I got a big old whopping one. <laughs> uh, I just want to thank my sponsors, Cryptech, uh, Cabela's, Bass Pro Shop, Realtree Outdoor, and Cocoa Buffs. I just want to thank you guys. Great support. It's been three hours so far since I've been putting this on. It takes a little while, you know, I had to get up at 2 in the morning, you know. I had to make my own stuff, I went outside and I grinded up some plants for the grain. The dirt, <laughs> it's mud and water, obviously. The black, I took some asphalt off the ground. I heated that sucker up off the skillet, you know, so it melted a little bit. Now it's, it's kind of hot in my face. It's a little burning. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a long process. God. If you haven't gone out, find someone who has gone hunting and ask them to go because they're more than willing to take you along. Because for me, if someone asks me to take them out hunting, I will do that in a heartbeat. I missed a lot today so far, but it's still just having a great time. Can't beat it um, hunting with your best friend. Nothing's better than that. <laughs>